Hi guys, it's Alex. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. Finally, it is the declutter video. I've been mentioning this for so long and it's been a while since I've posted and I even tried to film this a couple times and it just wasn't working out and I've even found some more products since then that I want to declutter. So I thought I would just include everything in this video. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I have quite a few products I am decluttering. So um, I'm not going drawer by drawer. Um, if you guys seen any of my previous videos, um, we were doing construction in the room and now the room is, the construction's done, but we need to paint and it's just a mess. So I have everything here surrounding me right now. So I thought I would just show you guys this way. And yeah, so I don't know how long this video is going to be, but let's just hop in and get started. So I'm going to start with some face products here and I do have a primer from Milani. It is the No Pore Zone Mattifying Primer. This just broke me out. There is nothing wrong with like the texture or anything and it worked fine with foundations, but I think it's like, I don't know, something in it just broke me out so bad. Just, and it's like the kind of, kind of reminds me of the professional from Benefit, just a, like slightly different, but it kind of has that, that feeling. Um, the only reason why I'm getting rid of it is because it broke me out. I do have a few foundations here that I am getting rid of. I actually have four, three. I have three foundations I'm getting rid of. The first one is the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. Now I used to actually not mind this. I actually used to like it and it was like a perfect shade match for me. And, um, but I didn't use it for a little bit. And then I, I think I put it in like a project pan. I, I don't remember. And it was just way too thick for my liking. I just felt it like on my face all day. And it's also really hard to blend out, which for me, like if I blend pretty quickly when I do my foundation, so it's not the biggest deal, but it just was too thick. And then it didn't last that long throughout the day. Um, I think I mentioned that before. I, I don't remember, but I'm just going to get rid of it. It's too thick. I don't like the feeling of it on my skin. Next, I have a, um, foundation stick from Tarte and it's just their, is it just like a foundation stick? I don't think it has a name, but I have the shade Fair Neutral and two things. One, it is just way too light for my skin. I'm pretty fair, but this is a little too fair for me. And just the undertone is not right even though it says fair neutral and I'm more of a neutral undertone. And second, this made me so oily within like two hours. Like I had to take my makeup off. Like I, it wasn't even like fixable. It was so weird. So I'm getting rid of it for those two reasons. And then lastly, I have the LYS Triple Fix Serum Foundation. Now this one is a little too dark for me. According to like Sephora, the first shade match, it said uh ln6 was gonna work for me i don't know why i believe that <laughs> anyways um but besides that it broke me out so bad this product was awful for my skin and for like a serum foundation it was really thick in my opinion i mean i don't really i don't have any other serum foundations but from what i've seen from like other videos serum foundations tend to be a little bit lighter not like super thick I don't know I've heard so many people actually enjoy this it's just it's it's not for me I don't like it and like I said it broke me out crazy bad now for concealers I also have three concealers the first one is the a Kylie Jenner skin concealer in Hickory this is I got for free and it's way too it's way too deep for me it's a little too dark um so I don't know why I kept this for so long um like I said I got it for free it was when they were trying to get rid of all their stuff on Ulta because they were rebranding um, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking I could use this for, but I'm getting rid of it for that. Next, I have the Becca Ultimate Coverage Longwear Concealer, and I think I got a bad one when it was delivered to me months ago, and also the shade is way, it's not right for me at all, it's way too light, um, but it smelled like it already went bad. Um, I'd never tried this concealer before, so I didn't know, but I tried it a couple times. I didn't care for it in general. Like the smell first off, was, it was so disgusting. Um, but the actual like way it blended onto my skin and like it just did not work with my skin and my under eyes. So it is going to go. And lastly, this one makes me really, really sad. It is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is the shade Vanilla. Again, this shade was the one that said would work for me. And it is way too yellow undertoned. It's too, it's just too yellow undertoned. Um, I was trying to make this work with lighter concealers that I have, but it was still just showing too much yellow, too much yellow undertone. So I'm really bummed. Uh, I am getting rid of this. 
but it's just, it's just not working for me and I've tried so many different times. And I forgot to mention, I'm going to see if any friends and family want any of this makeup, makeup that like can be, you know, given to someone. Um, yeah, so I just wanna put that out there. It's not just gonna go to waste. Next up, I'm going to go with cheek products. So I do have three little mini uh, like blushes and bronzer from Benefit. I have the Dallas, one right here, dandelion, and just the hula. The hula is just a little too deep for me. I am really fair, so the original hula just it does not work for me. And I also like even if it did work for me, I'm not a huge fan of the undertone for my skin. I can't even open it. Um, I don't know. It's just there's no point in me keeping it if I'm not even gonna use it or if it doesn't even work for me. Next for dandelion, this never showed up on my skin, and like I like benefits not cruelty free, so I'm not upset about getting rid of these but I try so many times to get this to work I can't even hold it <laughs> and it doesn't even show up on my skin so I I don't know if it's supposed to be like an actual blush it just says it's a brightening face powder I really don't know what that means and then lastly Dallas I was thinking it can use as like a blush bronzer combo kind of thing because it looks more like it could be a bronzer for me but I just don't I don't like it yeah and I also don't like the smell of these products either they're kind of gross in my opinion so i'm getting rid of those so i'm happy they're out of my collection i also have a flash flush powder a luminous blush and cool pink from smith and colt i got those on a really good deal when they were like 75 percent off on ulta and i was like oh a luminous blush like i kind of like luminous blush sometimes so i decided to give this a shot and it is literally it's awful like it's just like you can see how like shimmery like it's very luminous it's a little too luminous for what i was expecting it to be it looks like it could be like a highlighter like an intense pink highlighter uh it's just not my kind of thing and also the color looked a little different from what i remember on ulta's on when i ordered it off ulta so i'm just going to pass that along and next up i have this was actually in a project pan for a little while and i took it out i have the nars jumbo orgasm blush this did not show up on my skin either, kind of like the dandelion powder from Benefit. I got like this, the luminous, the luminosity from this, which was really pretty, but the blush itself, the pink did not stay on my cheeks. Like if I, I had to build it up like crazy as well, I just was not here for it. <laughs> so I'm going to get rid of it for that reason. Um, so yeah, I've heard some people say for that NARS Jumbo Orgasm that it didn't show up on their skin either. So I don't know. I don't know because I have really fair skin, so I thought it would show up. But next up, I have a highlighter from Milani. It is the Afterglow Strobe Light Highlighter. It's in the shade one. I do like this highlighter a lot. I just, I don't use it. I don't reach for it. There's other highlighters that I prefer in my collection. And this one is a lot more icy than what I usually like to go for. And if I like an icy highlighter, I like it to have a little bit of like, like a neutral warmth kind of to it, like a vanilla kind of base, like the Becca Vanilla Quartz Highlighter. It's more icy, but it's not too icy for my preference. This one's just a little, it's just a little too icy. It's just not for me, um, but it is a really great drugstore option. I think they have one or two other shades too, so I definitely recommend these. It's just something I don't personally reach for with all the highlighters I have in my collection. I have the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. So I was actually using this for a few weeks thinking I was going to put it in my project pan for 2022. And I noticed within the past like week, my like when I put my bronzer, it just looked pure orange. And at first I was like, well, maybe it's my cream bronzer mixed with this. Cause I was using, I like to use cream bronzer underneath a bronzer, a powder bronzer, but I swatched it and I used it on its own. And it's just, it's too orange. I don't know how I didn't notice this before. I did have like years ago, I had one in the older packaging where I think it was a different shade. It was like the I think at the time they only had that one shade, at least where I got it. It only had that one, like one shade of the bronzer, but this one is the light bronzer and it's just way too orange. I just, it's not my thing. So I'm getting rid of it for that reason. And I, I wore it for almost a month and it took me a while to realize that, but I'm happy I realized that now because it, it did not look good on with my skin. Lastly, I have three products from Ofra. I have... Let's see here. They're all, so I have two blushes and then a blush stripe thing. So I'll show that one first. I think this one's just a highlighter. So I don't know why it's called blush stripes. Yeah, it's just like 
four different highlighters in here. It is nice, but I do have one from Undone Beauty that I would prefer over Ofra. And Ofra is a brand that I'm not purchasing from right now, and I do have a lot of it in my collection. And there's other Ofra products in my collection I would use rather than this. And like I said, I have one from Undone Beauty that is similar to this. It's not the exact same, but it's a nice drugstore option. And I just reach for that one more than I do this one. And now I have two just blushes from Ofra. I have in I have a blush in Punch and a blush in Mai Tai that I'm getting rid of. So Punch is just a really deep, it's a super beautiful kind of berry kind of color. It is so pretty. I've actually worn it a few times and I do like it. I just have to use a really, really light hand. But I could really feel like I can only wear this a few times a year. Maybe in the winter, like right now, it could work. But I was thinking like maybe sometimes like in like spring I could wear it. But I don't really want to keep something that... I would use specifically for a season. I'm that person where if I want to use whatever, I feel like I can just use it whenever. For this one, I just feel very limited, which I feel like that's just not good for me in my collection, but it is beautiful. I actually really like the formula of the Ofra blushes. I don't think they're that bad, but I, the colors that I have, I just don't reach for too, too often. And kind of same with Mai Tai. I feel like I could really only use this in certain times of the year. And I'm, like I said, someone that would prefer to use my products all year round. And I know I can use this whenever I want and same with the other blush, but I'm just, I'm not feeling it. Like I feel like, I don't know. It's just a color that is very bright, very like bright peachy color, which is really pretty. I actually really like it on my skin as well, but I don't really reach for it. So that was kind of a confusing description, but I don't really reach for it too much. There's other blushes that I just reach a lot more in my collection. Same with this one too, same with the darker berry tone blush, but I am getting rid of those. Next, I'm going to go to eyes. No. If the lighting is changing, it is probably just, it's going to start raining soon. It's been raining so much here. So it was sunny a little bit when I first started and now it's getting kind of gray again, so it might start raining. So I just wanna let you guys know. But next, I'm gonna just do a quick overrun of like eyeliner. So. And a mascara. So I'm just getting rid of this mini Monster Big from Lancome because I had the big one in my project pan and I really just, I, I didn't mind it at first, but I started to hate it pretty quickly. Um, and Lancome's not cruelty free. So like, there's no point in me trying to use this up. I don't like it. So I'm just going to get rid of it. And then I have a bunch of eyeliners. I have a couple liquid eyeliners here. I have one from Tarte is the Sex Kitten liquid eyeliner. And I think this one still says Kat Von D on it but it's the tattoo liner. These are just old. They're so old. I think they're like two plus years old. So I don't feel comfortable putting these on my eyes. So I'm going to get rid of them. And then lastly, I just have a bunch of these Mali uh, eyeliners that I got, I think like three years ago at Christmas time. And they're just getting old and they're starting to dry out a little bit. So I have five colors. I have like a purple, well, I have a hazelnut color, a gold glimmer, an onyx, which is a black, a walnut, which is another brown, and amber, which is like a warm brown. But these are kind of drying out and they've they're just been in my collection for a little too long where I don't feel comfortable using them on my eyes. So there is that. Next, I'm gonna go to face palettes. I'm actually going through this pretty quick, so this is pretty impressive. But I have some face palettes here I want to get rid of. The first, whoa, the first ones are the Zoeva like highlighter duos. And so I have Spice of Life right here which I would never use this kind of reddish shade. I don't know if it's supposed to be a highlighter or like a blush topper. I don't know, but it's a color that doesn't really look too great on my skin tone. And this highlighter is fine. I just don't really reach for this one. And it's just slightly too icy for what I like. But the quality is not bad. I just, I don't really like them too much. I just don't reach for them. Next is Caramel Melange. I'm hoping I said that right. And this one I would never use. I've tried. I don't like this pinky purple light highlighter on me, it's just not my thing. And this I've used as like on my eyes before, which it looked okay, but I have other eye products similar to this that I prefer more. And then the other highlighter duo is Cocoa Blend. And kind of, I just wouldn't use these two colors. Like I would use, I tried this a couple times and it was okay, but it's just not my kind of highlighter. And then this, I just don't think it just works too well with my fair skin. So I'm just going to get rid of those. I have two of these blush authorities from Tarte. Um, 
these like little trios right here. So this one has Let It Glow, I'm Smitten, and Getting Toasty. So there's a highlighter, which is beautiful. A blush and a bronzer. I just don't really reach for these, but I am, now that I'm kind of showing it, I might take it out and use it. I don't know. This one, I might not actually declutter. So if I show it in a future video, you'll know that I took it out because I really like this highlighter. And this blush is a little dark, but it's wearable on my skin. And this bronzer doesn't really work for me too much, so I wouldn't wear that. But now I'm looking at it, I might put this back in my collection. Ooh, okay. Anyways, I'll think about that. But the next one is Frosted Frappe Sweet Cheeks and Sugar and Spice. And again, this one is super pretty. It has like, am I breaking it? I don't know. It has like a highlighter that is just too deep for me, but it's really pretty and two really pretty blushes. I just know I'm not going to reach for this one. I would definitely reach for this one over this one. So I'm going to declutter this. But the Amazonian Clay blushes and everything are such a beautiful formula from Tarte. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the rain, but but yeah, so I'm going to get rid of those. And then the last face palette I'm getting rid of is from Physicians Formula. It is the Butter Collection and Whaley collab that she did, what, a couple years ago? Um, I was actually planning to like pan the bronzers and maybe like the blushes and not the highlights. I don't like the highlights, but this formula is just too soft. It just wasn't pressed the way a lot of other physicians formula products are to my knowledge. I don't, I don't purchase from them anymore because they're in the gray area being cruelty free, but they were just too soft and they got everywhere. But that's not my main thing. The main thing is that it started to smell funny. Like it's. I don't know, like, it's not this, like, the cardboard, or not cardboard, but it's not the packaging, it's the product itself that smelled just really weird, and I didn't have this for too long, I don't even, I think I've only had it for a couple of years, um, I've never had that with a face palette before, so I don't know, um, but yeah, I'm just going to get rid of it, there's no point in me keeping it if it's, I think it's gone bad, so there's no point in keeping it. Next, I just have eyes and lips. So I'm going to go with eyes first. So I do have some singles that I'm getting rid of. Um, this one's like a little duo, but I'm just counting as a single. It's from Pixie. I think I got this for free when I ordered um, a couple things from their website like earlier this year. It's just two little purple colors that I'm never going to wear. So I'm just going to get rid of those. I have a Violet Voss single shadow in Bare It All, which is a really pretty like bronzy copper kind of shade. And I used a good amount of this. I had this in a project pan for a little while. Um, and Violet Voss's, as of right now, their cruelty-free status from last time I checked is, I can't find anything about it. Um, so I'm just going to get rid of this. I have other colors in multiple palettes that are exactly like this basically. And I just prefer to use those. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then I got this Jouer ultra foil liquid shimmer eye topper and it's like a black shade it's called constellation i think this came with an eyeshadow palette that i purchased from jouer months back and i like like i'm starting to get into like eye toppers you know but i just wouldn't use a black one it's just not my kind of thing so i'm going to get rid of it and then lastly i have three singles two of them from revlon one from maybelline uh, the Revlon ones are the Color Stay, and I, it's the shade Pistachio, and then the shade Praline. I just don't reach for these, and the formula is just not my favorite. And then same with the Maybelline one, it is in the shade Socialite. I just, I don't like the formula of these. Um, and so there's no point in these taking up space in my collection if I'm not going to use them, and since I don't like the formula. So I'm going to get rid of those. Now onto eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to start with, I have three ColourPop quads I'm getting rid of. Um, the first one is called Sorbet, and I'm getting rid of it because the bottom right shade just keeps breaking on me, and it's just really annoying, and it's really sad because this was one of my favorite ones, um, nice like mauve kind of tones, but it just it's just falling apart, and I, I don't know, it's just, it was too soft of a shade, I guess, and it just, it keeps breaking, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Next, I have a quad in Mocktail from ColourPop, and these colors are just not up my alley. They're just too warm, and I feel like just with my fair skin, it just doesn't look good with my eyes and my blue eyes, especially like this shade just does not look well. It just doesn't work with my blue eyes and everything like that, so I'm just going to get rid of it. And then the last quad from ColourPop is Creamsicle, 
and it's a really pretty pinky quad but it's still slightly just a little too warm for what I usually go for and the warmer pinks I do have in my collection I like more and I tend to reach for when I do want more of a pinky look so I'm going to get rid of those. Next I have just a random five pan one from Tarte is the Cue the Confetti. I think this came with something when I ordered something from Tarte. I don't even know how long ago. And it's really pretty. It smells really good. Um, it's just a really pretty little neutral palette, but I have other neutrals that I do prefer and I tend to reach for a lot more, so I'm going to get rid of it. I have two Ofra palettes here. I have the Galaxy palette, and I don't know what possessed me to buy this because purple is one of my least favorite colors. It's very rare for me to like a purple. I like very specific shades of purple, and I don't know why I bought this because I don't like any of these purples. I think I just wanted to try something new, and I, I, I know I probably got it on a sale because I don't think I'd ever pay full price for this. I think I wanted to try something new, and it just did not work out. These colors look awful on my eyes, and I just really don't like these purples, so... They are going to go and the other over palette is the sweet dreams and i don't think i ever touched this if i did i don't remember i know i've swatched it but i have colors like this in my collection as well and so i just don't really reach for these palettes from over so i'm getting rid of both of the ones that i have next uh, i have the honest beauty get it together eyeshadow palette it is a great basic neutral palette if someone's just looking for that and it's at the drugstore and i believe it's like 20 dollars um, I don't know the status of Honest Beauty. I've been back and forth with it. Um, at first, I didn't feel comfortable um, keeping them in my collection because of their status. But then I did feel comfortable because they changed their... On their website, they changed uh, what they said about being cruelty-free or their status and stuff. So I felt better about using them. But now I'm kind of unsure again. I just... I don't know. But I also don't reach for this palette. It's just... it. I don't know. Like, I have so many neutral palettes and I just never reach for this one, so I'm going to get rid of it. Next, I have a Smith & Colt Somber Shift Matte and Metallic Eyeshadow in Dusk Blaze. Um, I also got this on a really cheap sale on Ulta. They were like 75% off. The formula of these are not bad. I just don't reach for it. And I really got it because this like metallic shift thing. I feel like Tati or someone I watched years ago talked about... I don't know if it was Smith & Cole exactly, but like a metallic kind of like topper for any of these. And it didn't really do anything. So I tried it with this like pinky color. I tried with this green. I tried with this orangey. It's kind of more of a shimmer already, but I tried to see if I can make it a little more like shimmery metallic. It just didn't do anything. And it gets gross really, really quickly. I think that was after me like using it like two or three times. So this is going to go. Like I said, the formula is not bad, but I just don't reach for it. I have the Dosa Color Sassy Siennas, and I was so excited about getting this. Like, I wanted this for years, <laughs> and I've worn it a few times, and I don't like it on my eyes. It's just not my colors. These are just too bright. It just makes my eyes look like I have, like, a weird, like, allergy or something. I don't know. It just did not look good. Really beautiful colors, just they're not for me. And then next, I have the Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat. I have... The naked heat already and i much rather keep that so i don't know why i bought both i have no idea why um these colors are really pretty but i have similar if not the same exact ones in the urban decay heat, regular heat palette so i'm just going to keep that and get rid of this one this one from milani is the gilded pastel and this was free with like an ulta purchase sometime in the past few months i don't know i bought a couple things from milani and I think because I had to order like my new primer and a few other things and if I spent however much I got like a free palette. Um, I mean it's cute and it's pretty but I just don't use pastels. They're not my thing. Um, I just don't like really working with them too much and I was thinking of the, giving this to my son because he loves like swatching eyeshadow um, but even he didn't really care for it. <laughs> so I'm just going to get rid of it. Uh, yeah. And then along with those, like, uh, along with those Zoeva highlighter duos, I also am getting rid of the three palettes that coordinate with it. So the Spice of Life one is right here. I was actually thinking of trying to depot, not depot, depot? I don't know, trying to get some of these out and put them in a palette. Yeah, depot them. Um, so I might do that with a couple of these shades because the Zoeva formula is not my favorite, but they do have some really 
really great shades. Um, so this is the, uh, what's this one? Spice of Life. Wow. Um, if you guys want to see a video of me, like, possibly depotting these and putting them into a palette, let me know because I'll do it. But yeah, overall, the color stories just aren't my thing and the formula is just not my favorite. But like I said, they do have some really beautiful, beautiful colors. Um, this is the Caramel Melange here. I like the color stories, but just overall their formula is not my favorite, which I've already mentioned like three times. <laughs> and this one is Cocoa Blend right here. So yeah, there's definitely a few shades from each palette I would want to depot and put into a like Z palette or something. So if you guys want to see that, let me know because I will probably fail because I've never done that before. Anyways, I have two more eyeshadow palettes and then we're moving on to lips. So I have the Milani Gilded Gold, and I got this because it was pretty similar to the Natasha Denona Gold Palette, the shade um, Shattered, when it was delivered to me. Um, I literally just got it because it was kind of similar to the Natasha Denona Gold Palette, like just a couple colors were similar. Um, and I thought I could never get the Natasha Denona, Natasha Denona Gold Palette because I heard it was being discontinued and I couldn't find it anywhere. But then Ulta brought it back kind of just randomly, so I bought it and I was like, okay, I don't need this anymore. This palette is fine. It's good quality. It's just I prefer Natasha Denona's formula and I don't really want to keep both. So I'm going to get rid of it. And the last eyeshadow palette that I am decluttering is the Lorac Pro eyeshadow palette number three. Um... This one, I was actually going to try to hit pan, like pan this palette basically, or I had some sort of plan like that. But this, I just have bad memories attached to this palette. So I am getting rid of it and I'm so happy to never look at it ever again. Um, I've never had that with makeup before, but this just brings back a really time that I don't want to relive. So I'm going to get rid of it for that. The formula is fine though. I think out of all the Lorac palettes, this one's probably one of the best, but also Lorac's not cruelty free. So that's a shame. Okay, last I have lips. So I just have a bunch of ColourPop lip liners here that I either don't wear or they dried out. So the shades I have, this purple shade is very cute, V cute. And this reddish shade is called Bossy. This brown shade is called BFF3. Sadly, this one dried out. I loved this one. Uh, this warm kind of terracotta brown is called Love Bug. This little one here is called Curvy. This one I had such a hard time with, that's why it's so short. <laughs> this like fuchsia magenta is called Dial Up. This kind of berry is called I Heart This. This purpley tone is called Heart On. And this last one is BFF2, which also dried out. I love the BFF ones. I only have the original BFF left. <laughs> But I'm getting rid of these because I either don't use them or they just dried out. Next for liquid lipstick, I have two from Ofra. I have this little mini one in Santa Ana. And this color is just not for me. It's just a little too deep for my preference. And it's a mini, so I'm just going to get rid of it. And last one, I don't know why I have this. I don't know if it was like a free, like a free liquid lipstick or not. Because I would never buy this. So I don't even remember how I got it. This is the shade Saint Tropez. I think I actually tried it on my lips once and it just, it didn't look good. I didn't like it on me. So I'm going to get rid of that. Also from Ofra, I have these two lip glosses in Millie. Um, I think these were from the Samantha March collaboration, I think. And for some reason I have two. I don't know how I got two of them. I don't know. Um, I don't really like the glitter in here. I feel it on my lips. It's just really gritty and gross. And so... I'm getting rid of those. Next from ColourPop, I have an ultra glossy lip in Easy Bake, which I did not get long ago, but I got a bad one. I'm like 100% sure I got a bad one because it smelled really, really bad. And when I put it on my lips, it tasted kind of like metallic-y gross. Like it just, and I tried it a couple times because I was like, oh, maybe I'm just kind of going crazy. <laughs> no, it is disgusting. And it's sad because this color, it, it's so pretty, but I got it, I think they were doing like the 80% off or something like that. So maybe it's because it was going bad. That's why they sold it for, what, $2? I don't know. And then the next one I have is a lippy stick in Caramella. And I'm getting rid of this, not because it went bad, but because the color is different than what it showed online. 
I also got this when they were doing like the 80% off. It's just like a bubblegum kind of pink. It's kind of hard to see. It's like very pinky and like, it's not a bad color. It's just a color I would not personally wear. It's a little too bubblegummy for me. So I'm going to get rid of it for that reason. The last three things I'm getting rid of here. I have this, it still says Kat Von D, but I think it's from KVD. I don't even know. It is a like everlasting liquid lipstick in Mother. It's just a color I would never wear. It's not even opened. It's like a dark mauvey purple. Not my kind of shade. I'm going to get rid of it. I have a Revlon Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polish in Act Natural. Yeah, in Act Natural. And I actually had this in a project pan. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to use it however many times I can before I, it goes bad. And I never really wore it. I think I only had it in for like a month or two. I didn't have it in that long. But I wasn't feeling it. And I've had this for over two years. So it's just definitely time to just get rid of it now. It's a really pretty color, but... I can't repurchase it because Revlon's not cruelty free. Anyways, the last item is the Bite Lipstick, Bullet Lipstick in Meringue. This is their old formula, old packaging and everything. This was actually my second meringue I've ever gotten. The first one I ever had was I used for my prom uh, back in 2016. Um, yeah, so this is the second one and it's going bad. It smells funny. I put it on my lips before, before I noticed it went bad. And it just, the taste, I was like, okay, no, no, no. Yeah, it's going off a little bit. It makes me sad because I love the shade and I didn't bring it back. I think they should bring the shade back. It's a perfect pinky nude. I don't know. This really bums me out because I was hoping I could use it like up, but it's okay. It is what it is. It happens. But that is it, guys. That is everything I am decluttering minus maybe like this one little trio from Tarte. But that's a lot of stuff I'm getting rid of. Um, I'm going to count count it all up real quick just to see like how many things I'm actually getting rid of because I'm really curious to know. So give me just a sec. Okay, if I counted everything correctly, I'm getting rid of in total 64 things, 63 if I take out that tart trio, but 64 things total I am planning on getting rid of. So I'm going to see if any friends or family want any of the things that I feel comfortable giving them. So like the eyeshadow, the cheap products, I'm going to see if they want them. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it wasn't the way a lot of declutters usually are, but the next time I do them, we should be going door by door and it'll be much better. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. It means so, so much to me. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.